Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Guys, Team of the Year continues to drag on, right? The Team of the Year and Honorable Mention cards are so hard to pack. The SBCs are so overpriced, especially with the one we had yesterday, and it just does not seem that fun right now. I've never seen this much disappointment during the biggest promo of the year, and that's the honest truth, man. After playing this game for so many years now, this is like the most disappointing Team of the Year that we've ever had, but... Has EA taken note of that? Are they wanting to change things around? You might say no, but we know that EA have in the past changed things on the fly because they know people aren't engaging with the game as much. So I want to talk about that because today we are getting some new cards back in packs, re-released, we expect. And also, if it ever lets me into the game, I had this problem, man, over the weekend. I won't, I can't get into the servers every once in a while. Like, see, it's just loading, 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 loading. I think I'm going to have to reset the game. I'll be right back. All right, Rin, sweet. So that's what I want to talk about today, guys, is the content that is coming today because there are some SBCs that are leaked that could change some things around. And EA has all the power at their fingertips with the store packs. And maybe with changes today, there might be a change with some of the stuff in the store, the pack weight, who knows. That's what I want to talk about today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content starting with the evolution that was dropped yesterday it's the weekend right they like dropping these new evos on the weekends it is a paid evolution that we had yesterday wing wizard specifically for the left wing players it's a decent boost yes it is 75,000 coins but you get rapid plus and the Trivella playstyle. This was one of the leaked Evos that we had. Gakpo is a card that a lot of people are really excited for for this. This Depay fits. I look into my club. Carlito Sevilla is a very popular card that uh, is shown in the menus as fitting this evolution as well. And this is the first Evo that says specifically that you cannot put an in-progress evolution into this Evo as a player requirement. So this is EA first time in the game acknowledging the Evo glitch, if you will, and not allowing you to put somebody in it that is an already or in progress Evo card from a unclaimed evolution. So that's pretty interesting. Um, but I already did see that people are figuring out ways to still do the unclaimed Evo glitch because not all of the Evos right now uh, still have that, right? So you could still put this in a chain of evolutions using an unclaimed glitch, but it just the Evo card you would put into this would have to be a fully evolved one, not an Evo that is in progress. So I don't know, guys. This Evo is decent. How many games? Win three, um, play three rivals. Okay, so it's a little bit of a grind, but yeah, it's not bad. I like that that playstyle plus is one that is very, very meta popular. Of course, pace is always popular. So that's a decent Evo. I'll give that like a three or four out of 10. Actually, no, I'll give it a 5 out of 10 because it's still 75,000 coins. But that's for those of you that like the Evos. I know that a lot of people right now, including myself, like I'm not really grinding Evos. It's all about the gameplay, right? Um, not the gameplay. I mean, it's all about the menus. Um, there are some pretty nice cards you can get from this. That Claude Maurice card looks pretty cracked. Sazinia, Sterling, Clint Dempsey even fits the Evo as a hero card. That's kind of cool if you're running a USA team. And Benini, who's getting an honorable mentions card today. Her Evo card, that would be laughable if her Evo card is better than the honorable mentions card that will potentially come out today. So that was all of that content there. Now, let's go to some content that was pretty good. Let's go to the Team of the Year Crafting Upgrade Completionist. For all of you guys still grinding the menus on this game, which I know a lot of you are, you're still trying to open packs, right? At least the chance of a Team of the Year is still there, even though the pack weight's terrible. It's very demoralizing, but we're still here, right? This is really good. This is the biggest W out of the past two days probably of content, I can't lie. The crafting objective is the perfect place to be putting your gold commons from doing all of the premium league specific upgrade packs. Yes, it's 150 completions like Winter Wild Cards was, but if you're opening a lot of premium packs, this is going to be able to get done so easy. And especially with the extra player picks and packs that you get through this grind, you get an 83 times 10 at the end. For doing the whole thing, you get an 83 times 20. This is nice, all right? And the pack that the SBC gives out is really nice as well. And here's why I like it because. This gives you an opportunity to pack all Team of the Year cards, regardless of league, regardless of whether it's an honorable mention, 12th man, or an actual Team of the Year player. All of those cards are packable from this. This is a 77 times 3 rare gold players pack. So it's better than doing the regular two-player upgrades. And in my opinion, it's better than doing the league-specific um, 
upgrades as well, like the base upgrades, honestly, because all you need for this is just one rare gold and the rest is commons. And I think that's great. I'll turn in one rare to get the extra packs and objectives and to get a 77 times three. Like there is good potential that you could also pack team of the year icons. I mean, it's going to be tough. Don't get me wrong, but you could actually pack team of the year icons that may be re-released back into packs today. Their promo icons, they would be packable from this and they wouldn't be packable from those league specific upgrades. So I think I'm going to be crafting all my commons into this. I've already been tweeted somebody who packed a team of the year pop from one of these. Um, I know it's going to be tough to pack team of the years, but at least is nice to have a chance of packing all of them from the same pack instead of just going into those league specific packs. So that is a big W. That's a really, really big W if you're grinding upgrade packs a lot on this game now the other upgrades that we had yesterday i haven't even done them yet uh the refresh of the 82 times 20 but we had the 85 double which we can do two times every two days what's with this two day stuff ea let us do it multiple times per day okay i don't understand that this one is kind of it's bad value i'm gonna keep it simple it's bad value but it's somewhere where we can put our 82s and 83s other than the team of the week player pick so this sbc on footman is 79 percent up voted because it's repeatable twice and it's the fact that you can put 82s and 83s in here which we all have tons of right now i think that's why that sbc is upvoted along with the 85 times three midfielders upgrade which is not as upvoted but it is more expensive right we have the defenders sbc on Friday, we have the midfielders 85-3. I think we're getting the attackers today. Maybe hold on to maybe some 86, 87 rated fodder. You might need it for that one. This one required a team of the week and an 85 rated squad for the midfielders. And we all know the attacker SBCs are more expensive than even the midfielder and defender one. So that's our SBC upgrade pack content yesterday. At least there's more here. All right, I'll say that. The 8220, the 86 plus, not great, but at least there's more here with the 85.3 that we can do once and the 85 double, right? That's what we'll say there. Now, the big SBC that's got everybody talking right now is this one, man. And this is, again, the problem of team of the year. A card for Luka Modric that looks cool, right? But it's not even a stat upgrade over his road to the knockouts card that is only 200 and, well, now 280,000 coins. It was 240, now 280. Went up in price because this SBC is so expensive. Guys, it's a million coins. I'm sure you heard about it. This SBC is quickly becoming a very, very downvoted SBC. 10,800 downvotes in the short, like, 10 hours that this has been released. The fact that it's a million coins... It's just, it's so overpriced, and the stats are the same. Look, we compare the cards here. It's the exact same card. The work rates are the same. The skill move, the weak foot are the same. Uh, the only difference between this card and the um, Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, I believe the only difference, is the playstyle plus for pinged pass. Maybe he has another extra playstyle. Let me check really quick. Does he have a regular playstyle that's extra? No, he doesn't. They just gave him um, the pinged pass plus playstyle plus. Uh, and that's just, that's not worth the big upgrade. So a lot of people went back to the market to buy this card. Uh, but like, that's why this SBC is so downvoted. It's just, that is how out of touch, like it seems EAR with the content at the moment. People don't want to pay an extra 800K or 700K for a play style plus. And this card design that honestly, I would rather have the other one. The other one looks a little bit better than this card design, no cap. So that SBC is crazy, right? Kavisha was crazy. And, you know, not good, but Luca is just even worse because we already had a card that a lot of people were used to. But yeah, man, I don't even know what else to say with this. Like, it's just, it's not good. And if you're like Nate, he'd be a million coins on the market. I 100% disagree with that. Take a look at like Diani, right? Here's a good example of a card that is in packs. Her 92 Thunderstruck was 500, 530k before the new one came out with the same stats, just with the added playstyle plus. And this card is 570k. Like, people want to pay for the stats, right? That's what I'm learned, I've learned in the last day. The extra playstyle plus on these cards for a lot of this community, yes, it makes a little bit of a difference, but people want to pay for the stats, man. And maybe it's the card design, too, for the, the Diani and the Thunderstruck, but there's a couple other examples of well, like, as well, like Fede Valverde. Fede Valverde's Team of the Year Honorable Mention card has the same stats as uh, Radioactive, and the Radioactive is still more expensive without two playstyle pluses. So... People like the stats, not the playstyle pluses. The only thing that Modric, I would say about Modric is this SBC is actually a little bit inflated in price just because of the fodder prices on the market. And the squad ratings that you have inside of this, you've got an 87, you have an 88, and an 89. It's all 86 and above. And what fodder is inflated on the market? 
that exact same rating of fodder. Like guys, 86s are 12K, 87s are 18K. A lot of these cards are at max price, 18K. They're going extinct on the market right now, these 87s, which is crazy. 88 rated since the 87s are about to go extinct, they're flying. 88s yesterday went from 25K all the way to 28, 29,000 coins. They're not far away from their max price. 89s are 47,000 coins. 90s are 63K. The fodder that is 80, even 85s are like 5,000 coins, 5.2K. They're starting to go up because some of the fodder is about to go extinct. It is crazy how high fodder is going because people are opening packs, getting coins, and there's still SBCs like Sawa, Bruno, Davies, Alex Morgan, the icons out that, that people want to do. And this fodder is going up like crazy. So that's one thing I would say is that if fodder wasn't this crazy, Luka Modric probably drops maybe 100, maybe 200K in value, and he's actually like 800K. But still... It's very overpriced when you look at it just from a price standpoint on the market. Now, one part of the market that's down in terms of fodder, guys, get a load of this. Informs are 20,000 coins. The supply from Team of the Year has caught up to Informs finally, and they, they're they actually at a believable price. Now, with all the lightning rounds that are still out, I'm not saying this is an investment, but these cards are down tremendous. Like, Team of the Year or Team of the Week cards haven't been below 25,000 coins for... I don't even know how long, but they are finally back down to a very, very low value. Yes, they're still in demand, but when we keep getting SBCs like that Modric, even with an SBC yesterday with the 85-3 requiring a midfielder, they didn't go up. So we'll see with those. I'm not investing with those right now, especially with all the store pack supply, the lightning rounds that are still going. The team of the week provisions pack in the store is a scam. I wouldn't do that either, but it's there. Um, and, and yeah, so team of the weeks are dropping pretty crazy. Now, actually, some cards that are dropping a little bit as well. Let's do our daily team of the year price check. Some honorable mentions are down a little bit. Like, they did okay yesterday on the market. In last night's video, we talked about Musiala in some of these cards maybe having a bit, a bit of a spike, and they did, right? People woke up and wanted to try these cards. Musiala went from 362 to 400. But since content, he's kind of just been slowly dropping off from 350, 360 down to 326. Same thing with Digani. She was 600K, now 565. Harry Kane's 117. Salah, I think. Uh, went up all the way to like 1.4 or something. Yeah, 143. He went down to 13, went back up to the one high, one three highs, and is now kind of falling back down. Trent is down. Kim Min Jae is down after a big spike yesterday. So it's kind of like these cards are dropping a little bit because they're more packable. Um, but also the team of the year cards themselves, guys, these are not dropping. Like Sophia Smith, 2.1 million coins. Um, I mean, Renard is 2.2 mil. Even Millie Bright, 765K. You go to the men's team, Holland, 7 mil. Teo is still 4.3. Ruben Diaz is 3.3. VVD is extinct at 11.4 million. Uh, Ronaldo is actually on the market now. He wasn't on the market yesterday, uh, but he's slowly making his way. I think he's like 14 million or maybe just below that for the Ronaldo team of the year card. Um, 13. Okay, oh, yeah, he's dropping right now. Okay, so people are panic selling this Ronaldo a little bit. They're seeing the price drop. And he's also getting packed a bit more. Uh, first owner here for 13.5 and 13.2750. But guys, I mean, we see a couple first owners on the market there. When we go take a look at the store and you look at the pack supply, this was not updated. They didn't change any of the store odds. Let's go to our trusty 400k pack and compare to yesterday. Um, it is still the exact same 3.7% as it was on Friday um, and Saturday. They didn't even update the odds yesterday, right? You can see probabilities accurate as of January 26th. So they haven't updated it since content on Friday. Today's a big day for these cards. If they're going to change something, I think they would do it today, guys. And that's kind of what I'm to talk about next, right? The icons have been out of packs for team of the year, right? We had those in packs during the positional releases. They went out of packs on Friday and we talked about them coming back today. Could that be enough, along with maybe some more honorable mentions, to change some things? I think that it might, and I want to talk about that a little bit because some of you guys have been saving your packs until today, which is crazy. Fair play on to you. If you have not opened your packs at all and you've saved for today, maybe EA will somehow reward that, and maybe they're going to change the game around today a little bit. But everything should be in packs today, guys, right? The team of your icons, we're expecting them to get re-released. It's the same schedule that happened last year, right? That's They've been doing the same schedule as last year so far, just matching up every single thing that they've done and it would match up today if all of these not just team one not just team two but all the team of their icons came back into packs once again and i mean the team of their icons are tough to pack obviously but 
and they are packable and you guys saw like philip lam was 700k Essien was 800,000 coins viera is up a million coins like a lot of these icons have exploded if they get put back into packs today i think their prices would correct a little bit i'm not saying that lam goes all the way back to 700k i'm just saying their prices could correct a little bit because the pack weight on them is still very low but honestly guys there were more people packing team of the year icons on friday when team two was still in packs or sorry thursday Thursday, when the full team of the year team came in packs and team two was still in packs, there was a lot more Loms and Essians and Rios even on the market than there were actual team of the year cards. So if you have any of those, I would maybe say take the safe route, maybe sell if you've got it and you don't want to risk it. I mean, I don't think that there's a really crazy high chance today that EA flipped the pack weight around and like completely changed things 180. I feel like it's a pretty low chance that we would all of a sudden be able to pack team of the years like we could during the uh, positional releases when they actually seemed packable like i'm not trying to advocate to say that like oh my goodness team of the years are going to be supplied like crazy today no not at all but i'm just saying maybe ea flips it around a little bit and just turns it up a little bit more so that these prices that are of cards especially the team of the year icons correct a little bit because they're just coming back into packs and even for these team of the year cards too like these prices just seem ridiculous and i have to think if you're ea sports you're thinking about Maybe people that are disappointed right now in this game, a lot of people are disappointed because they can't even buy the cards. You've got two Team of the Year cards that are extinct. you got Kylian Mbappe and VVD that are extinct. You've got a, I mean, honestly, Ruben Diaz is almost extinct as well. He's not that far off from his price range. Multiple other Team of the Years are like that as well. How many Team of the Year Messies are even on the market? Do we have a page of Team of the Year Messies? Like, yeah, not even a, a Team of the Year, full Team of the Year page of Messi. Like, I have to imagine that EA is seeing people not get on the game as much over the last, I don't know, one or two or three days since Thursday when everything went crazy downwards. Um, after they open their safe packs, maybe they're getting off the game. I'm sure a lot of you guys are feeling the disappointment as well, even though there's still a lot of content that is out. We'll see, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting my hopes up too much, but with those Team of the Year icons coming back into packs today, and then also, we still have an Honorable Mentions Benini that is leaked, right? Because she was in the 12th Woman's Vote. We've got Olga, but we don't have a Benini released. Maybe there's a couple more Honorable Mentions coming today as well, just as one last gasp before EA to try to sell some packs. Maybe they'll put some new pack code in, drop some big packs, uh, but they're really going to have to change the weight for anything crazy to happen. So, I mean, they haven't dropped the big lightning rounds yet, guys. And maybe today is really their last chance. I'll say it this way. Today is their last chance to do some of that stuff. Like the 85 times 7, the positional lightning rounds. We haven't seen any of those since last week during the attacker and the midfielder specific releases. At least yesterday we had the 30 coin pack. They brought that back. That's a step in the right direction. But yeah, that's what I'm saying, guys. If you have a team of the year or team of the year icon... Maybe they're just so high right now that you take a little bit of the cash, right? Maybe you do it because that just seems crazy. And maybe they drop down a little bit today. I don't know. Um, but that almost sounds too hopeful, right, for how things are in this game right now. I'm not trying to just feed you a load of BS 100%. I'm just saying that EA has the power to change stuff like this, and we know that they can change it. So some of these prices to me just look, yeah, maybe just a little bit too high. But, yeah, it's just crazy, man. I don't even know. It's really tough to decide what's going to happen. We'll see today how it plays out. We'll be obviously be able to decide right away. If it looks like nothing's changing, then okay, prices are not going to move that much. But if some things are going to change, then of course, we would maybe be able to adjust as well. It's going to be a decision to probably make on the fly after 6 p.m. content, see what packs are released, see how much supply that there is. Now, also what could change today is the SBC. And we have one big name SBC that is still leaked. And there's another one that's been added to the leaked, I guess, list, you could say. But this is the one that at least I want, I think everybody wants Saliba today. We thought Saliba was going to be Friday. He wasn't Friday. We got Nepenthes yesterday, and now we have Saliba that is leaked, and I hope Saliba is today. Like, please, EA, drop this SBC. But also, I don't have high expectations for this because the last two SBC players that they've dropped as Team of the Year Honorable Mentions have been ridiculously overpriced, Modric and Kavaradona. So, like, yo, they might drop this SBC with this card, and even if it's 91 or 92 rated, a lot of people have done his evolution version already, but if this one comes out and it's a million coin SBC like Modric, there's not going to be that much hype for it. But um, Saliba's special cards and other center backs have been flying in price. This could be a card that does correct that, but it's going to have to be like either super juiced and expensive or just a normal upgrade and not that expensive at all. I don't even know what they're going to do with this guy. He already has the 87 winter wild cards. I hope they boost him over top of that. If they do, though, it's probably only a one play style card. Again, the trend has been 
if they're not going to boost his stats, they'll give him two playstyle pluses. But if they do boost his stats, like shown in this uh, prediction here, then he would probably only have one playstyle plus. I'd be fine with a boosted Saliba. Give me a 90-91 rated Saliba um, with one playstyle plus. What's his base card have? He doesn't have one. Okay, let's give him playstyle plus of something else, though. Not intercept, please. Let's give him mm, anticipate. Anticipate and a 91 or 92 rated um, Saliba. Even if it's 90, that would be nice. So, again, that could be an SBC that changes some things today just because of the potential... Um, I don't know, ramifications that that card could have on the market. Another good SBC to craft, a French center back, would definitely move prices. Oh, actually, we do have a couple of other leagues for Team of the Year Honorable Mentions. Kubo. Kubo is coming as an Honorable Mention, so that could be a card that drops today on this game with Banini. I would only expect maybe two, three, four Honorable Mentions getting released. I would honestly say three would probably be where we're at. So watch out for Kubo. There is another player SBC leak. Debinha is added to come as an SBC during honorable mentions as well. We just had a Debinha in winter wild cards. I really hope that this is not the same situation um, as, again, some of the honorable mentions with no stat upgrade but two playstyle pluses. Please give us a stat upgrade uh, and two playstyle pluses. That'd be nice. But that could be an SBC as well. I just hope it's not today. That also could be, actually, now that I think about it, that might be our last objective. As Sheriff's League says, SBC or objective. Um, that could be our last one in the year in review crafting section here. We need one more of those, but that last one's not coming out until the 30th, which is um, Tuesday. So we won't have that SBC or that objective player release for a few days, but maybe that's Debinha as well. We'll just have to see. So those are all the leaks as of right now. Kubo, Debinha, and Saliba, and Benini, and then probably one or two more. Like Ederson was never leaked, but then he was dropped uh, as a player in packs. So we'll just have to see. Now also, today's Sunday. We always talk about icon picks on Sundays, right? The icon pick that is currently out refreshed yesterday for one last time. The SBC is also expiring today. Hmm, what are they going to do? They're definitely going to re-release some sort of icon player pick or at least an uh, icon or a hero player pick for sure, guys, because they've been going hard on the upgrade packs, right? Let's be honest. Like all the upgrade packs that we have right now, player picks, packs they're going pretty hard all even the packs that we think are not good there's a there's quantity right not not necessarily quality there's quantity though and i think there's going to be another one of these released today maybe they'll do hero and icon we'll have to see um i ho just hope that they let us do it a couple of different times for those of us that are crafting the menus hardcore opening a bunch of packs that is one that we would like to see be able to be repeated multiple times for us dgens that would like to craft it with our team of the year crafting upgrade but I guess we'd only be able to degen it if they allowed us to pack walkouts. Goodness gracious, man. I, I know. I feel you guys. I didn't open many packs yesterday. I kind of want to give the game a break, give myself a break. Also, to prepare for the grind ahead this week, we're going to be ripping so many more of these packs. Kind of gave myself a break yesterday before so many more packs are going to be ripped uh, coming up during this week. But I, they need to also turn the weight up just a little bit on fodder, man. Maybe I'm... Is this... Who's this? Okay, nice. Yeah, really good. Really good, really good. Like, I am not getting good fodder. Sick, dude. 81 double, 282s. Like, that's how all packs feel right now. It is just painful. So, I do think we'll get another icon pick today. Um, and then also the 85 times 3 attacker. We're talking about SBCs as we're opening packs. Yes, it's team of the year. Uh, the 85 times 3 attacker. That's why I mentioned... Ooh, nice. Grealish. That's why I mentioned uh, maybe stock an inform if you need one or just do the player pick because we all have the fodder. Or make sure you keep a couple of 86, 87 rated cards around because they might make that one a little more expensive because it's attackers. Also today, we didn't have this release yesterday, but I'm almost certain it would drop today or tomorrow. A cup, guys. I think there's going to be a cup that is released. The draft play objective um, is going away. Oh, I never got Dante done. I only played three uh, games of draft. Rip. Um... We will be getting a cup, I believe, today, especially because this is going away. That was a part of the EA content tweet last week, so watch out for that. I don't think they would... I just hope that they don't ask for a Team of the Year card in the squads. I know that a lot of us have loans, and they've given out loans, but no, just don't allow Team of the Years in that. Just, um, I don't know what they'll do for that, but we'll have to see. But that could be another way where you get some packs and another objective to grind during the week to get a few packs. 
right there. And then let's talk about the market a little bit too. Some out of pack stuff. Talk about my transfer list, right? I bought a couple things, sold a couple things. Some of the stuff I bought on Friday, just taking some cash for it. Uh, the Courtois, you guys saw me buy the Courtois last night actually uh, for, I think it was 88,000 coins. Sold them at 97,000 coins. Uh, Loud Drip was good profit. I bought that at 2, uh, 199. Scott, I bought at 232 on stream. The Alibas did not turn out well. I just kind of sold those. Um, and then Rafinha, that was a good one. Adiyami was a good profit. I bought a Sun yesterday for right around a million coins. And I still have my Diani, which Diani is actually dropping right now. So, um, yeah, ahead of today's content, I think I might just take the cash on a couple of these things here. I might hold on to the Terstegans. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of where all my coins are right now. That's Sun, the Sun, Diani, and then Solus like Kessler and Terstegan are kind of, um, the cards that I have my coins in, I, I might take the cash before content today just so that I have my coins liquid. I'm ready for whatever today on Sunday brings. So, guys, I think that's going to be the video for today, man. I mean, I'm being a little more careful with the market just because, I don't know, I'm expecting something today. And maybe I'm expecting too much, but I just hope that EA changes something about this game please okay ea change this game today up the pack weight a little bit even just for fodder right even just for fodder up it a little bit and uh give us a good value sbc for once that would be nice but we're gonna keep crafting we're gonna keep chasing i want this number to turn from a one to a two and maybe above that if we can get crazy lucky during the week this week so that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy drop it up to opponent comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate for the count see you guys later peace out